Serangan Rusia terhadap Ukraina tak hanya menyebabkan kehancuran di medan pertempuran. Kemajuan dalam mitigasi perubahan iklim yang dicanangkan dalam KTT iklim sebelumnya COP26 di Glasgow, Skotlandia juga terimbas. The development of coalitions and uh, joint large coalitions but also bilateral initiatives such as US and China uh, uh, proposing a new program of work uh, to address climate change. And some of that goodwill has disappeared. Uh, it, and it's not just in terms of Russia. We see that, that China has pulled out of that arrangement with the US as a result of Taiwan. So it, uh, across a number of areas, the, the geopolitics isn't so positive. Ahli perubahan iklim mengatakan jangan sampai perang Ukraina mengalihkan perhatian dunia dari krisis iklim saat ini. We need to be able to deal with multiple crises. And the truth is that with the war in Ukraine and with the complexity around oil and gas supplies, there is a, an opportunity, and I say that with, with, with respect, um, there is a, a chance now to really invest in clean and green rather than to invest in hydrocarbon infrastructure. That's what the world needs to do right now. Konflik di Ukraina justru bisa menciptakan momentum mempercepat transisi ke energi terbarukan. The government responses around the world given to this energy crisis promise to be that we are seeing a turning point in the history of energy and this crisis indeed accelerate clean energy transitions. Tapi dalam jangka pendek yang terjadi sebaliknya Perang antara Rusia dengan Ukraina kembali menguatkan fokus pada ketergantungan negara-negara Uni Eropa terhadap impor bahan bakar fosil dari Rusia. Menurut pantauan PBB, impor Uni Eropa dari Rusia sebelum terjadinya serangan terhadap Ukraina mencapai hampir 169 miliar dolar. Lalu sekitar 117 miliar diantaranya adalah impor migas. Banyak negara Eropa kembali ke pembangkit listrik tenaga batu bara merespons disrupsi pasokan gas alam dari Rusia. There is a short term supply gap that will have to be met, but as long as there isn't huge investment in those fossil fuels, then maybe we just have to accept that. It is the sort of the medium to longer term trajectory that I hope we see an acceleration of decarbonization as a result of the war in Ukraine. Selain itu serangan Rusia juga memicu krisis ekonomi global ditandai laju inflasi luar biasa tinggi dan juga ancaman resesi yang mengancam menghentikan investasi selanjutnya terhadap energi terbarukan dari Washington DC Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.